All right, we are going to create a mission statement generator powered by OpenAI's chat API in Bubble, which is the only prerequisite. In our API connector, set up your OpenAI API keys like so, private key in header, authorization, bear, and then paste your API key. That's about half of mine, you can guess the rest. In our open API chat create chat completion section, find the curl library, copy that, and back in our API connector, a little known feature called import another call from curl. We are going to click that and we're going to paste the code we just copied. I'm gonna import it and that is about it. We're going to make sure that this is set up as an action because we want that to show in our workflows later. Similarly, we are going to make this private so that they don't show in our workflows later. The only piece you have to care about right now is this content piece right here. That is our prompt. A prompt essentially in the open AI environment is a request, it's a question, it is a statement like hello. So if I were to say hello to um, a chat, we can prompt that. Don't worry about what's above here. Let's just look at the payload, which is the response we get back. We actually get hello there. How may I assist you? You can see we can carry this on for ages, but we are going to do this. We are going to generate a mission statement. Where are we going to get that information from? However, we have to tell it what company that statement is about. So we have a name, a problem, and a solution. So we're going to say uh, company, where are we gonna get that from? We're gonna figure this out in a second. Problem, and then solution. All right, so the way that we actually access these values is through these inputs that I set up, but the way that you get dynamic data in Bubble API connector is by doing these symbols. So I'm gonna call this company. I'm gonna call this problem. And I'm gonna call this solution, okay? So now I'm gonna have these as non-private because I do want this to show in my workflows later. So I'm gonna say company is uh, coca call. Problem is people are thirsty, the solution, a sugary drink for the ages. All right, so now the prompt is going to say that there's a company, there's a problem in the market, and there's a solution, all right? And then we're gonna generate a mission statement. So if we reinitialize the call, we are going to get back a response, in this case, a mission statement based on those values. And as we can see here, Coca-Cola, our mission is to provide such and such and such. All right, cool. Let's go back into our UI. Let's click on this button and let's make a workflow. So I'm gonna look for open. All right, that's a trick you can do here. When you do search, I know that there's an API called OpenAI. And I'm gonna say this is going to come from an input which I have um, set up earlier called name. Um, this is going to be from problem, and this is why you name all your layers, right? And then we just say solution value. Okay, that's perfect. So I already mapped them. So if I actually click that button, I am going to send that call. But I actually want to display that data. So what I'm going to do, I set up a custom state on the page level called statement. So back in my workflow, I'm going to say set state of an element. And that element is going to be my page, right? Custom statement. And the value is simply going to be the result of step one. And then we got to look for that. We're not going to go back into that raw data, but I know it's choices and then it's message content. And I'm going to pick the first item. A little bit of knowledge here is required. And then finally, if we do this, let me say Nike, people run slow. Uh, shoes that run fast. I'm going to send this call. It might be a little bit slow today because they just announced GPT-4 and now we get back this. All right. 